Hello students, today I have a brand new video for you on the subject science and the chapter that we will be discussing today is chapter 5 adaptations in plants. Let us recap a few topics that we discussed in class. We first read about adaptations in terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants can be found in different areas like hills and mountains, plains, marshy areas, coastal areas and desert areas. We also read about some special adaptations present in plants, for example, insectivorous plants. We also read about adaptations in aquatic plants. We saw that aquatic plants are of three types, free floating, fixed floating and submerged. And finally, we read about how we can take care of plants. So let's quickly move on to our exercises. The first exercise that we will be doing is checkpoint 1 on page number 54. Let us have a look at the question. Answer in one word. Your first question is, the plants that grow on land. The answer will be, terrestrial plants. Number 2, structures that conifers bear instead of flowers. The answer to this question will be, Cones. Question number 3. The shape of leaves which help in draining of rainwater. The answer to this question will be drip tip. Question number 4. The plants that grow in marshy areas. The answer is very easy. Mangroves. Question number 5. Leaves of desert plants change into. The answer will be spines. So I have written down the answers here to all the questions. If you have any doubts with the spellings, you can refer to this box over here. Let us move on to the next question. Now we will solve the questions in pages 57 and 58. The first question you have is, number B, tick the correct answer. Needle-like leaves are found in plants which grow in, your options are, a. Desert B. Water C. Mountain and D. Coastal areas We know that some plants have needle-like leaves to save water. So the answer will be C. Mountain. Question number 2. The plants growing and living in water are called? Your options are A. Aquatic plants B. Desert plants C. Marshy plants and D. Hilly plants. The answer to your question will be aquatic plants. Question number 3. Leaves of fixed floating plants have and our options are number A. Stomata on their upper surface. Number B. Stomata on their lower surface. Number C. Stomata on both surface. And number D. No stomata. So our answer is option A stomata on the upper surface. Once again, I have written down the answer over here. Next question. Number C. Fill in the blanks. First question. The dash plants have breathing roots. So we know the answer to this question. Mangroves have breathing roots. So our answer will be mangrove. Question number two. The cone-shaped plants that grow on hills are called conifers. Number three, leaves in cactus change into, our answer is spines. Number four, the dash aquatic plants have no stomata on their leaves. The answer to this question will be submerged. Number five, tape grass is an dash plant. The answer will be aquatic. Once again, the answers are listed here below. Let us move on to the next question, number D. Here we have some question answers. Question number 1. What are the special features of plants growing in plains? So plants that grow in plains, they have a lot of features that help them adapt to the area they are in. That help them adapt to the area they grow in. But I have mentioned only one important feature over here, that is... Their leaves are big and broad and have drip tip which help to drain rainwater through them. 
Question number two, why do mangrove plants need breathing roots? So we know that mangrove plants grow in marshy areas. So mangrove plants need breathing roots to help the plants get air in the waterlogged soil. So I've given you only two questions from the exercises. This question that I created for you is not a part of your exercises. Uh, if you remember, while we were discussing the chapter in class, I repeatedly mentioned that you must read examples of each type of adaptation. So this question actually uses those examples as the answers. Our first question is, plant with special adaptation. So we read about two, three plants that have special adaptations. So you can write any one example over here. You could write pitcher plant, venus flytrap or sundew. Question number two, fixed floating plants. We have two examples in the book, lotus and water lily. You could write any one example. Question number three, plants growing on hills. Once again, you can choose any one among the numerous examples that are given in the book. For example, spruce, pine, cedar, fir, etc. Question number four, desert plants. We have two examples of desert plants given in your book, cacti and baboon. Question number five, submerged plants. Once more, there are two examples, tape grass and hydrilla. And finally, we have question number six, non-green plants. If you remember, when we read about plants with special adaptations, we read about non-green plants. And there you have two examples, mushrooms and molds. Below we have an answer box where I have chosen the simplest spellings with the easiest pronunciations for you as the answers. You can use these as your answers or if you want to go for another word, you can choose those also. With this, we come to the end of this chapter. Thank you.